Forrest Johnston 6723 says, Hi, I asked you guys to do this a month ago on the Yiga Seeks Misco episode where I asked you guys to find all of the special horses and possibly Lynx horse if you could find it. I really wanted you guys to do this, but when, uh, when, whenever y'all can get around to it, smiley face. All right, Forrest Johnson, and you know what else we're gonna do? We got another comment in the Discord. Complete some pieces in the map so you'll know where you are. Thank you, Yuletide <laughs> Janik. Uh, that's a temporary Christmas Discord username, I think. A lot of people have temporary oh, names yeah. in the Discord uh, okay. before Christmas, which is a lot of fun. I, You should join the Discord for fun. I'm not going to say how I actually feel about that. I can never tell who anybody is. <laughs> it's kind of frustrating sometimes. I mean, if it if it's obvious. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is there's so many names for me to like see. Yeah. That usually I like there are like three different Alexes, right? right? And if one of the Alexes changes his name, I don't know which one of the Alexes he now is. <laughs> yeah, it's fun for the regulars. Yeah. So you guys obviously keep, keep doing it. does not descend from the throne in his ivory tower very often to roll around in the mud with the likes of me and all you Discord dwellers. <laughs> oh, come on. No, I just... It's finally time for me to say you're on the Discord less than I am. Hey, listen. It's been years of the opposite. Okay, that's true. But listen, <laughs> I see so many more names than you see doing mm -hmm. the streams. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to complain about that either. It's fun to see so many people on the streams. Well, but. you know whose name you see most during a stream? Mine. What? Yeah, because everyone's saying where's Peter. Oh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> you jerk! <laughs> Just rub right. my face in it. <laughs> so, are uh, we heading to a special horse right now? Yeah, I'm heading to a white horse, but I just realized I don't know if we have any stamina. We don't have stamina meals, and we don't have a lot of extra stamina, and so we, we probably used to can't eat every meal right after we cooked it. But then we gave up on that when no one cared. So my question is, do we have a way to warp to Satori? We have a way to get so closer. Listen, you could warp near Satori, or you could walk some more E. Oh, shoot. Where am, is it? North. There. West. It's so far away, we got no warps, Peter. What's your problem? Okay, I'm going to hope to find... <laughs> We're just going to go... Go to the nearest tower and use the height to your advantage. I might also have some... Uh, yeah, I have an Endura Shroom, so we can make... We can make a Minandora meal. We'll be fine. I just got to find a cooking pot now. All right. Well, the other options of special horses include the stall horse, a.k.a. skeleton horse. We can go and get that. Well, that's you can't register that, though. Spot. Okay. Yep. That's near lookout landing. Spot is an average horse, but he's great to have in the early stages of Tears of the Kingdom. Unfortunately, we're not in the early stages anymore. Uh, giant white stallion. That's where I'm headed to right now. Yeah, we know where that one is. We took a picture of it with, and Pura almost <laughs> totally blocked him. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> and then we hung it up in a stable. <laughs> if you're unfamiliar with that, you should go watch the, uh, let's see. I think we were going to call it Making Pura Famous, but now it's something like, can we complete the hardest Pura challenge? Yep, yeah, that's what it's called now. Yeah. Because yeah. we realized no one liked that other title. It was difficult, though. We had to drag Pura all around Hyrule. Uh, Ganon's horse, a.k.a. Giant Horse. Golden Horse, a.k.a. Zelda's Horse. Zelda's Golden Horse. And, of course, the one, the only, the magnificent Epona. Yes. Uh, we're probably not getting all those horses in this video. All the pretty horses. But we will get some. What you doing? You fighting all his alpha? Yeah, he's in the way, you know, and so... Oh, dude, your black Boko Reaper broke, bro. That's all right. I've got a Lizzo... <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of bees. That was a lot of bees, buddy. <laughs> oh, bro no! Broke a blow. <laughs> oh, gosh. You can make it struck by lightning. Imminently. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. Remember our John Inspired Mayer episode? <laughs> Where we kept making fun of the way he sings. Yeah, that was he great. He never commented. I can't believe it. No, I know. And he's like a social mediaite now. He's like always making like these little YouTube shorts where he's teaching people how to make his play his songs. Yeah, hey, uh, Jame, which you told me I could call you. 
um, <clears throat> in one of our more intimate conversations. If you ever want to be a guest, uh, we're trying to beat the Game Grumps guest list. Oh, we're we on our way. No warp points anywhere close. We got to just hoof it all the way to this horse. Well, that's what you get for saying, no, don't go get that warp point. We're trying to get our objective done. I never said that. You said that in every episode. No, I did not. Literally every episode. <laughs> Lies. You're literally don't, your don't hair gaslight is literally me. Literally on fire. Liar, liar. Pants also a flame. <laughs> <laughs> and also your pants. <laughs> did you know that the word literally got abused so much that they literally changed the definition to be something more akin to like really, really? They didn't. They did. They That's, changed the word literally. Yeah, Webster's meeting. dictionary says can be used like this or whatever. That's stupid. You're like, I'm literally exploding with rage right now. They shouldn't have changed that. <laughs> I agree. Because th that's so stupid. You don't change the meaning of a word because like one culture decided to change the meaning of it. Um, you literally um, can't do that. Well, <laughs> You can, though. That's actually what language Where's is. Where's the sink of cooking pot at this stupid stable? People, oh, I'm so mad right now. It's raining. People define language. Language is a set of rules, like any other game, like math or music or... There's a free fire Monopoly. here. I'm not paying for this. Maybe it's, um, rained. Oh, it's right there, across the way. No. Yeah, where the Luminous Stones guys um, defecate diamonds. No, there's there one over here, too. Can I say defecate on YouTube? You can in this channel. You definitely can. <laughs> you defecate can. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're taking one Endura Shroom and one Meat. If you haven't had enough fiber, you defecate. <laughs> <laughs> And I need I some of that it. yogurt that Jamie Lee Curtis is always trying to get me to buy. <laughs> Deficant. <laughs> your doctor name. if Deficant is right for you. Four out of five Jamie Lee Curtis impersonators. Uh, I can't decide it. what I'm going to do. This is, it's so weird. I'm so used to having lots of movement options. You're playing like me. Yeah, be be believe it or not. Well, it's interesting though, because what you're used to is how you want to play, even if that version of Link hasn't earned it. Which is why I go tank and fight poorly, because I have strong armor and a ton of hearts and a bunch of meals that fully restore my health. We haven't and registered a, a bunch horse. Of fairies. We haven't registered a horse. We don't have Zonite. We can't really fly anywhere. We I'm glad you're playing. Literally we, just, we do have tomatoes. We literally just walk everywhere. Yeah, we're literally overflowing with tomatoes right now. <laughs> They're literally coming out of Link's ears. <laughs> that would be amazing. If there's are an infinite number of universes, then there's a universe where everything we say is happening. And an infinite a number of universes where everything we say is not happening. Do you think or everything you, is happening that we said, but we don't say it? The things are just oh, happening. Oh, yeah. Um th there's a there's a, a universe where there's a channel on a site called YouTube called The Basement. Where tomatoes are literally coming out of Link's ears. <laughs> no, I mean like like when you watch the video, tomatoes come out of your monitor and land on your keyboard. <laughs> or I guess if you're watching on a phone because you're a child. I just I feel like the multi the multiverse theory to explain the the that kind of creation of the universe or, you know, coming about of the universe theory just creates I feel like is even less believable than yeah. just an all powerful being doing it. <laughs> no. Yeah. The the alternate explanations to a creative force for the beginning of the universe are so fraught with problems that they this is an old line, but I think there's wisdom in it. It takes more faith to yeah. believe in those alternates for me anyway. You know, you do you. Uh, we we do have people of uh, lots a of different variety of different yeah belief sets or non belief um, worldviews, and that's totally cool. But man, you've got an uphill battle if you want to convince me that a, an actual spaghetti monster or you know aliens seed the earth or the universe was born from a mom mommy universe. <laughs> 
Well, when a mommy and a daddy universe love each other very much. We'll explain to you about the... We're getting close. It's just over this ridge. What do they call the birds and the bees for universe-i? The galaxies and the nebulas? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh, this is one way to get around quickly. Round, 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 game. round, round. I get around. around. He gets around. Ooh, Ooh. Um, how's that? Watch this. Ah. Now we have heist. Heist. We're traveling in three dimensions now. <laughs> wow. We. You've played Mario in two dimensions. You've played Mario in three dimensions. Well, now it's time to take Mario into the fourth dimension. <gasps> That's right. Four players simultaneous. That's not four That's dimensions. That's not four dimensions, bro. <laughs> there was an actual, like, Nintendo, like, conference or, like, direct or whatever. They announced whatever four-player, I don't know, New Super Mario Bros. Wii was four-player simultaneous. Yeah. And they announced it as Mario entering the fourth dimension. <laughs> Like, ah, I think that's Mario's time machine, actually. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a time travel Mario would be more of a fourth dimension. That'd be amazing! Or, like, go <clears throat> the fourth spatial dimension and really mess with people's brains. You have to buy a 5D TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't and see And by the way, right? only Nintendo has them. And you have to buy 5D glasses. And 5D controllers. And if you say you can't see a difference, you'll be flying in the face of all the opinions of everyone. Come on! Who loves why the does Emperor's that not work? Clothes. Because it's a giant white stallion. You dingus! Oh, you're gonna run away from me now? <laughs> I'm gonna run away from you now. <laughs> <laughs> I pushed the stinking button! I'm so mad. Ted, why don't you learn to play Zelda good? We're a Zelda channel. <laughs> you don't even know how to mount the giant white stallion? Oh, there we go. It, uh, it's harder than it looks, guys. And gals. And, I hope uh, this works. It, it, well, I hope so, too. That's a lot of fussing and a feuding just to not get the special horse. This is a big old white horse, let me tell you. That's a honker. It's like a giant white swan. Dude, those guys are impressed. You can go register this bad boy? Yeah, of course. What are we gonna call it? Toothpaste? Horse, of course. Glue! <laughs> glue. Pre-glue. <laughs> now, we do need to get um, more of the map so that we will know where we are going. Okay, well, we can maybe do that. Uh, so, that's something to keep in mind for this video as well. But. Do you have any thoughts or uh, preferences when it comes to additional horse eye? Yeah, uh, special. Well, how are we doing on time? Do we have enough is, time is, is, to is, try is. to get another horse? It took 15 minutes just to get one. Yeah, we're about. We might need to get one horse and some map and do another horse a different time. Yeah, I think we're 13, 14 yeah, minutes in. Yeah, I think we get we we do this horse and then we go get some map and maybe we'll do another horse another time. That's true. Uh, if you have ideas on which horse to get, let Ooh, us know. Ooh, put it in the comments. Or join the Discord if you're not already a part of it and put it in the TOTK You Choose channel on the basement server. It's a good one. And uh, we read those. Welcome to Highland Stable. Thank you for the to be here. Here's a well, pony point. Yes, hello, Paddock. Can you please register my giant white stallion? If you get rewards, step up to the red side counter. Once oh, featured uh, blurrily in the background of a fantastic painting of Pura. Is New that, horse. Is that this stable? Yes, this is the stable that wants the horse. Oh, the what do we make? Got a special promotion going on. Your first horse is free. What happens if you name your horse the same name as the keeper of the stable? Name the horse Paddock. See if he says anything. <laughs> That's actually a good idea. Hey, what are you trying to say here? Or I'm, I'm quite honored. It's with a K, right? Yeah. Yep, perfect. Are you sure you want to name this horse Paddock? You know, that's my name, right? <laughs> paddock, Paddock, Paddock. <laughs> that's the most name Paddocks register. I've ever seen. You want to take it with you or boy, take the horse? Dude, we know where to take Paddock. That concludes the registration. 
Wow. Blah, blah, blah. Speaking of which, do you know about whistling? Yes, yes. we know about whistling. Dude. Uh, I get why you have to ask, but I wish you wouldn't. <laughs> I wish there was an option where they're like, have you played Breath of the Wild? Yeah. Here. You should just be able to take like a three, an optional like three question course quiz at the beginning <laughs> of the game, which is like, have you ever played, you know, the game that's most like this game? Yes or no. Have you ever played any Zelda game? Yes. It's like, I don't, we don't, I don't know. Some of it's like, Ganon is a bad guy that you might want to fight at some point. <laughs> Have you, have you ever Thanks. played any Nintendo game? Like you have don't you have played to, a video game. You don't have to tell me to take a break every fifteen minutes and show a picture of an open window with the curtains blowing. Like have you, you been outside ever? Because we're gonna remind you what it was like. Why don't you go outside and play for a while? Yeah, it's nighttime, Nintendo. Well, I, you know where I spend all the beautiful weather. I work in my day job. I'm an adult. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> It's too cold for this. Look at the cape is so tiny on this. <laughs> Looks amazing. Although it is the armor is kind of clipping through the cape a lot. I'm glad we still have um badly damaged sand horse sand seal shield. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh dear. What are we unlocking? More map? Yeah, I'm trying to get to the next tower, which I think is this way. I'm not sure. Dude, unlocking portions of the map is important. How many um, undone shrines nope, do we have? Nope, this tower is this way. Dang it. <laughs> well, I'm glad we looked. Look at those like likes down there. Just liking the cold weather. Dude, they got all excited. They're like, oh, is that Link up there? No oh boy, I wonder what kind of shield he has. Oh, I didn't like it when he <laughs> warped away. I didn't like like it either. Not like like liked it. He's always been goofy though. He's always been a little off. <laughs> It'd be an interesting. One of these like likes is ostracized from the group. The ugly like like grew up to become a beautiful swan. Can it gain a little height? <laughs> Can it gain a little distance? Oh boy. That was fun. <laughs> Can you see how much fun I had with that? I think it works better on ice. Come on. Give me some movement here. I'm tired of moving at the speed of boring. Yeah, well, you know, snow boots in the desert sand is not always conducive to the most speed. Thank goodness for, uh... Do you have any bombs? You can get some quick height by attaching a bomb to your shield. Ah! Alright. Now we're too hot. Imagine if your farts had static electricity. And you just got shocked. When you passed gas. I... Yes. I can't imagine that. I actually have had that happen. What?! Wow. Yep. Well, I have a new goal in life. <laughs> I didn't know it was possible, but now... Now I know what to set my sights on. I'm trying to figure out how to stinking get anywhere in a decent speed here. So that way two things can happen in one episode. Sometimes trying to get there quickly is slower than trying to get there normally. Can I gain a little height here? If that shield is badly damaged... I've never seen a shield wear out faster than a rocket. Can that happen? Yeah, I mean, if it's if it's uh, badly already damaged, damaged probably, yeah. 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 Well, you know. Exciting content right here. Remember all the climbing in Breath of the Wild? Remember when climbing was exciting? It built anticipation. You know what this climbing feels like? It feels like waiting for Christmas as a kid. I know this is after Christmas when this comes out. Wait, does this come out after Christmas? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My brain is not keeping up with Peter right now. He's, I'm gonna find out. Well, he's mine's not either. Hardcore and asking a lot of questions all at the same time. No, it does come out. Happy December twentieth, everyone. Hey, before Christmas. You know, <clears throat> last Christmas, Ted. You gave me our. I gave heart? you my heart. Oh, yeah, and the very next day, I remember, yeah. I threw it away. 
You know, the very next day. Oh, there's our tower. Your mom passed away. <gasps> oh. Cause she, this year. she used to have my heart. I donated it to her and took on one of those baboon hearts. I also got a bionic heart just to be safe. Peter, if you're not going to hold any kind of normal conversation, I can't contribute. <laughs> <laughs> What's next for me is a bionic baboon heart. I hear those are the best. You know, robo hearts are where it's at. They last longer. It's been proven by science. Wait, is this real? No, neither is oh. what you're talking about. Well, if I you're going to talk about it, a bunch of gobbledygook, don't take mine seriously. <laughs> Wait, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Robot hearts? Well, there was I saw a show where uh, this company was working on robot hearts. Okay, yeah. And uh, it was like realistic-ish. You know, it was like in the future and whatever, nanotechnology, I don't know. But <clears throat> that was the idea, and they were they were trying to get approved for human trials, but they needed like monkeys to cooperate. Survive. Yeah. And they cooperate, typically dang it, monkeys. <laughs> well, so but the interesting thing was this show had a lot of nods to the work of Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, and if you're familiar heart. with the Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anyone die that way before. I was trying Standing to stand behind a Gerudo. And the book was just oh, like, and it's gonna put me back too. Ah, <laughs> oh. hey, I know that it feels actually a little frustrating when you're playing. It's and so slow. This is the slowest thing that has ever happened. These ever. episodes are so fun for me to watch, and there's a bunch of people who just love. <laughs> The okay. struggle and the mayhem. And I just then, feel so bad. We read two comments and we're going to barely do one and a half of them. <laughs> I talk about whatever and you get like confused and don't respond. And people <laughs> okay. just, some people right. just eat that up. All right. All right. I'll just lean into it. I'm just going to focus. You just keep doing your thing and I'll do mine. So anyway, in Edgar Allan Poe's The Telltale Heart, uh, it's a it's a bit of a dark story. But one guy is responsible for ending the life of another guy. And... Uh, by accident. And buries the <laughs> buries the body under the floor of a house. And then the police are there investigating, and uh, his conscience is working on him. But the way that that manifests in the story is he thinks he can hear the still beating heart, heart of the guy. Of the victim, right? And so anyway, in this show where these chimpanzees have bionic hearts and die, uh, they find one where it's dead, but the heart is still beating. Yeah. And then that's the that's the Edgar Allan Poe reference. So it was pretty cool. So there you go. You learned something new in the basement today. Uh, kids, ask your parents. And if they uh, have a look like, what are you watching on YouTube? You say, Mr. A-Game. <laughs> <laughs> because we want your parents to know that the basement is a safe place for ears <laughs> and minds of all ages. So we will play Mr. A you guys, uh, this is a plug for Mr. A-Game. Oh yeah! In the middle of, that, of a video, we owe them. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a better channel than he's got a better channel than ours. They're from the other hemisphere. Yep. They have yep. a few more subscribers than we do. They're culturally backwards. They've been around almost as long as we have, and uh, they hold the record for staying single the longest. This is true. <laughs> and so, chips and Vegemite. Um, but, but in all seriousness, the content's Mr. really good. Yeah, Mr. A Game and uh, his team over there, including JP and uh, I don't know, uh, maybe they got other people working on stuff over there. But uh, yeah, fantastic content. Yeah, good people. We always, co we've collaborated with them in the past, um, in the recent past and the distant past. And we lost a contest, a video game contest with them, where we said that we would plug their channel. And say that their channel was better than ours in a video. So we're burying it at the back of this <laughs> episode where not much got done. Uh, and congratulations to you if uh, you're still listening. If you're an A-game fan, uh, leave it in the comments below. Uh, we know that there's a lot of A-game fans that are basement fans and vice versa. And that's a wonderful thing. Because we ourselves are fans of Mr. A-game. This is true. And his crew. And Mr. A-game is the better channel of the two channels. Uh, I think his wife helps with the channel. I know she's made appearances. Yeah, and I mean, as the talent, even and if, then JP. Even if she's of not doing like direct work, the fact that she's supporting what he's doing is a thing. Yeah, it's a our huge wives, thing. You know, my my wife doesn't like directly edit videos, but she's definitely 
listens to me talk about YouTube a lot. Right, and like, <laughs> is helping with kids and the household while you're busy with basement Editing stuff. Or, yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Same, okay, are we almost in a stupid here. tower yet? I have a wonderfully supportive uh, wife who believes in the there whole basement YouTube dream. What I want is some better movement options, Peter. I would love an episode where we go and get the ingredients to make our bicycle and just grind the crap out of getting some new ba some batteries so we can fly places. Yeah, well, we could montage that or we could stream it or or oh, streaming. It's a good idea. I'd have to borrow your game, your yeah thing, but I could just like grind for three hours one day and really get us somewhere. Or I could grind. Or you could grind. You could yeah. stream it. Yeah. People would love that. Yeah, people would. I'd help you set it up. It's not too not too difficult. I think it's set up, although it may have been unset up at some point. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Come on. We're so sticking close. I can taste it. Yo! <laughs> that, that might be the closest ever done. That, that's the best thing that's happened in this episode. <laughs> right here. That was great, though. Here we need to go in a cave. Hey, we are close to Zelda's horse. I mean, I think it's snowy. Oh, this is one of those ones that we have Isn't to like. Zelda's horse, the fix. big white horse that we got. No, Zelda's horse is the golden horse that's up past the white gliok, the snow gliok oh, really? in the snow area. I think so. I don't think so. Zelda's horse is a white horse. The I minister's thought. cat is a lazy cat. Uh, what are you talking about? That's a Christmas game. You said Zelda's horse is a, and I thought of the minister's cat is a. It's like a, you pat your legs and you sing the song. And you have to remember who the other person was or whatever? Well, no, you ha you just have to come up with an adjective that starts with the same letter. So you sit in a circle. Oh. The you start with A, the minister's cat. It's an altruistic cat. <laughs> that probably isn't the first one you'd say, but that's like down the list. And then you, then you say the, the minister's list. cat is a beautiful cat. Well, some is people it, it play it where it's way? sequential, but some people play you just do A until someone breaks the rhythm and then they're out and the circle gets smaller. Oh. It's a fun Christmas game. Does it have to be an adjective or could you say it's an apple cat? Um or is that like cheating? I think that's cheating. I think it's gotta it's gotta make sense. Like an apple cheeked cat. Oh. Uh, or an you apple You can hyphenate apple eating. I feel like cat. hyphenating would also be cheating. Yeah, well I mean if you <laughs> if everyone else is focused on what they're gonna say next and nobody questions it because your rhythm is good. Hmm. It's a bit subjective. Is an apular cat. Yeah. Uh, uh, angry cat. That's an easy one. Minister's cat is an acorn cat. <laughs> nope. Oh, come on. <laughs> it looks like an acorn. <laughs> it's just one of those kinds of cats. <laughs> Are you going to question the, those kinds of cats? Yes. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I swear. I swear. Recall! Recall! Get on it and hit recall. I recall... Maybe you thought of that, but... When I, I didn't until I said it. I swear. Come on. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna murder the minister's cat. I am stinking hitting the button so many times, but it, like, won't go. Unless it's just not moving or something. This isn't going to be good enough. I hope it's in. Nope. <laughs> it's okay. The raft will still be there. Yep. Everything freezes. It'd be nice if it, I don't know, like, let you do it. <laughs> this is... This is infuriating. <laughs> Here's one thing that Breath of the Wild did better than Tears of the Kingdom. What am I supposed to do here? Climbing the towers wasn't ridiculously convoluted. Build a larger raft. I never had this problem in the past. Oh, maybe it's the new version. There, there. Yes! I, I was like, I, click, you click, pressed click, the button click, a lot. Click, 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 click. He did. There's something wrong <gasps> with his thumb, I think. There. Okay. We're good. We did it. We can't stop recalling. 
Oh. <laughs> he does the Nintendo Switch uh -huh. snap. There. More of the map. Now we'll know where we are. Bum. 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 Woohoo! We did it! We got more of the map! We did two things. We got a horse. Mm -hmm. And we got more of the map. Mm -hmm. and that's all that we promised we would do. If you're not done watching, click on the video on the screen right now. It is one of my favorites, and we'll both see you over there in, in the, the basement. basement.